In Nigeria's economic story, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group holds a vital chapter. Standing on the shoulders of the Founding Fathers and the giants who paved the way, we are the NESG and all we do is serve in the national interest. Over the last two decades of the NESG, a new crop of engaged participants paying to serve ushered in a new era. In 2014, following the exit of former NESG Director General Frank Mweke Jr., the board of the NESG was faced with the challenge of finding a new successor to lead the group. After a prolonged search, one board member, Joseph Olawi Jayola, stepped up to take the role of Interim Director General. Indeed, when we started Kinos Edge Consulting, which we started in 2014, GOG was supposed to be part of this endeavor. And then, just as we were getting ready to launch, um, our Egmo, uh, Mr. Folusha Phillips, FOP, you know, reached out and said, uh, Frank Nweke Jr. was leaving and that, well, he had looked up and down and he had, he would like us to release JOJ to NESG. As you can imagine, all our startup plans had a governance practice as part of the business and he was going to lead it. But what I took away from that episode is the way he went about prioritizing Nigeria. I was there for about uh, five years, I think um, from uh, 2009 to 2014 when I stepped away um, at the time. And I do recall that there was the challenge of um, finding a successor. He very kindly agreed to uh, step in in acting capacity. I remember I, I was on that committee uh, to search uh, for uh, a CEO at that time to take over from uh, the, the then uh, Director General who had left and we hadn't found a replacement. He actually sacrificed going to go start a partnership business uh, for taking on uh, the leadership position as the CEO of the NESG, which shows a, a firm uh, commitment to the advancement of the course of the Nigerian economy. We were like, where are we going to get a CEO from? And um, he volunteered that, okay, he will step in as interim CEO for three to six months. And um, three to six months, we realized that he knows what we need to do. And so we asked him to stay on. As the new CEO took charge, he embarked on a transformative journey. JOJ's leadership breathed new life into NESG. As acting chief executive, he had asked me to come in and look at a report that was created by McKinsey. And the McKinsey report ranked NESG across its four key roles, dialogue partner, intervener, watchdog and connector, and noted that except for dialogue partner, the impact of the NESG was like about 5% in the other three areas. And Mr. Jola basically said to me, in his time he was going to be here at the NESG, he wanted to scale the impact and influence of the NESG in those other three areas. What people don't recognize today as the NESG Secretariat, which is basically scores of experts and professionals across different departments and thematic lines, did not exist even in 2015. Mr. Jola basically said that the recommendations from the report, alongside a global benchmarking we had done on think tanks, should form the basis of setting the agenda for where the Secretariat should go and the NSG organization. So, in that sense, Mr. Jola was someone that had an extraordinary amount of ambition for the organization. Um, we spoke about making NESG administratively feasible, financially sustainable, operationally efficient. The NESG structure at the time was quite tight, not elaborate. So um, at the time, it wasn't set out to, to employ all of the needed capacities. The reason being, again, that he didn't have the resources at the time. Before Lao Ejayola, there was nothing like NESG's Abuja office. It used to be 
one room office space. That was how um, it operated. Laiye Jayola, on assumption of office, came into NEAG to set certain standards befitting a corporate uh, body. The whole experience of leading the NESGRC as the CEO is a very critical nation building work. And for the fact that he had been committed to the NESG in different fields and different positions as a volunteer and then got to the board of the NESG, continued to be dedicated and passionate about the work and then eventually become the, the CEO of the NESG. I knew what NESG was before CEO. Um, worked here for a couple of years before he came in as, as CEO. Um, and I, I'd say that he took NESG from, from here to, I mean, somewhere high up there and it was still, um, there's still a lot of work to be done, yes, but um, coming from, looking at where we are coming from, right, I think you can't just quantify how much he's done to make NESG the kind of brand it is. Under Joseph Olaoye Jayola's leadership, NESG became a force for evidence-based policy advocacy. At the helm of affairs, JOJ oversaw the 21st to 29th annual Nigerian Economic Summit, grew the NESG from a small team to 12 policy commissions, three communities of practice, 45 thematic groups, about 100 employees, and over 1,000 volunteers. He launched critical initiatives that redefined the NESG's role in national conversations. These initiatives include the National Assembly Business Environment Roundtable, NASBAR, the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF NESG Economic Roundtable, NNER, the Bridge Fellowship, the In the National Interest Documentary Series and Book, the Policy Innovation Center, the Nigerian Renewable Energy Roundtable, NIRA, the Presidential Dialogue on the Economy, and many more. As CEO, JOJ galvanized a crop of engaged volunteers paying to serve and opened the group to new public, private and international stakeholders. Here in the NESG, I found him to be very transformational. Uh, his eight years as uh, the CEO has seen quite a lot of new initiatives, new direction. Uh, first, um, his push to make NESG an evidence-based institution. So he ensured a lot of investments went into rebuilding the research department. When I came in, the structure that I met in was purely an outsourcing department. Internally, the capacity was not there. So over time, uh, working under him, um, providing the resources, we were able to move a research department from that situation to a research department that can say that it has successfully delivered or rebranded the organization as a think tank. We are not just advising the government, we are also working the government. Another transformational um, input from him into the NESG was broadening the stakeholder platform of NESG. At the time he came on board, we were only engaging with the federal government at the level of the executive. Um, he is brought in the legislature at the federal level. We created NASBA under his watch, and that enabled us to engage with the National Assembly. Under his leadership, we struck a landmark agreement. It was the very first time that I think in Nigeria, uh, we had a collaboration between academia, a formal reach out and engagement between academia and the organized private sector. JOJ partnered with Leap Africa to start a youth fellowship, to get more young people involved in policy. And I'm so proud of what JOJ has been able to do with the Gates Foundation, with the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition, two organizations I worked very closely with. The next generation of leaders, you know, of volunteers, it's literally an army that he has managed to recruit and convince. When Mr. Jarela arrived at NESG, no one was making reference to the six principles of reform that were agreed in 1993. So one of the things he wanted to do was he wanted to make 
the original six principles of economic reform that the private sector and government agreed on in 1993 more um, prominent in terms of national ideology and national economic policy discussions. And so um, Sajola was also in that way a, a repairer of, you know, core principles of reforms. The other thing was our digital presence was almost non-existent. And so um, he and the Zid building a communications team and culture that was a bit more responsive to citizen content. I noticed that none of the NESG history artifacts were digital. And so we started this process of digitizing all the NESG historic records. Behind the titles and accolades is a man whose leadership style has left an indelible mark on those fortunate enough to collaborate with him. We shared a lot of sleepless nights working in NESG. Um, we shared a lot of experiences when I was on the board of Kakawa Discount House. But, um, and we shared many experiences when I became chairman of the NESG and he was the chief executive. Um, you know, we, we worked extremely closely together and I was glad for his support. It was tremendous support. One of the things in my own interaction with him that he stressed quite a bit is how are we looking after our staff? He really is somebody that if I was to go into a battle and I have him beside me, I'm good. To me, Jojo had been a wonderful uh, colleague, friend, uh, uh, as well as uh, somebody that you actually can go to uh, if you need s solutions. He's completely a role model for me in terms of um, you know, leadership. I learned so much. JOJ's legacy at the NESG is not just about his achievements, but also the leaders he nurtured. He is leaving the organization more sustainable and influential. One that's extremely important for the sustainability of the NESG was that he helped us to diversify our revenue sources. So before him, we were practically a mono revenue source, subscriptions from members, summits, um, surpluses, um, those were primarily our primary sources of um, revenue as the NESG, um, sponsorship funding. But he was able to help us diversify. We were able to attract funds and grants from different organizations worldwide. And so he, he, he also, in that process, helped place the NESG and its capacities on the world stage. The future just looks bright for, for the institution. And much of it, I'd say, is due to some of the building blocks that CEO has laid um, during his time. Um, he's leaving behind a stronger, more productive secretariat, uh, more professional secretariat of the NESG, uh, where today we have research fellows who are doing incredible, insightful research work, including the macroeconomic model um, for, for the country. I'm excited and optimistic about the future of NESG. I think GOJ has left NESG stronger than when he had met it. Internationally, NESG has much better network than we have had before. On behalf of the United Nations Global Compact and the UN Global Compact Network Nigeria, I have the honor of extending our heartfelt gratitude and congratulations to you. The success of the first Gender and Inclusion Summit will not be complete without your backbone support, sir, and we're truly grateful for and everything that you have done and continue to do. Thank you for being the exceptional leader that you are. Um, may your future endeavors be as bright and fulfilling as you've made our time here at the NSG. Thank you to you. Thank you for the opportunity to work here with the NSG. Uh, it's given me you know, an opportunity to see Nigeria differently and see how passionate people are you know, in working in the national interest. Those who succeed him in leading the NESG going forward, I think he has left some very deep footprints 
And my hope is that the trajectory of those footprints continue to be forward going. The vision continues with the new leader ensuring NESG's values endure. JOJ's legacy extends far beyond NESG's walls, shaping a brighter future for Nigeria. Thank, Thank you, CEO. Whatever he does next, we know from his track record that it will be in the national interest. <laughs>